In this tutorial, we'll practice using the length operator, hashtag, and the string rep function to manipulate strings. We'll start by understanding how to use the length operator to determine the length of a string. Then, we'll explore how to use string rep to repeat characters and create masked strings, such as masking passwords with asterisks. First, ask for password. The script prompts the user to enter their password using io.write password. io.read reads the input from the user and stores it in the variable password. Then we will calculate password length. The script calculates the length of the password using hashtag password and stores it in the variable password underscore length. In Lua, the hashtag symbol is called the length operator. It is used to obtain the length of a string or the number of elements in a table. Here's how it works. With strings. When applied to a string, hashtag returns the length of the string, which is the number of characters in the string. Example, a string hello would set length to 5, because hello has 5 characters. With tables. When applied to a table, hashtag returns the number of elements in the sequence part of the table, the part with integer keys starting from 1. Example, local table equals 10, 20, 30, 40, local count equals hashtag table would set count to 4, because there are 4 elements in the table. Notes The length operator only works reliably on sequences with consecutive integer keys starting from 1. It does not count elements with nil values or elements with non-integer keys. Next step we will check password length. Using if and else if statements, the script checks if the password is too long, more than or equal to 10 characters, or too short, less than or equal to 4 characters. If the password is too long, it prints your password is too long. If the password is too short, it prints your password is too short. Now we will mask the password. If the password is neither too long nor too short, it proceeds to mask the password with asterisks. It uses string.rep, in quotes asterisk, comma password underscore length, to create a string of asterisks with the same length as the password and stores it in masked underscore password. String rep function is particularly useful for creating patterns, generating strings with repeated characters, or masking sensitive information like passwords with asterisks. 
It's a handy tool for various string manipulation tasks, offering simplicity and efficiency in repetitive string generation. At the end, we will display the masked password. Finally, it prints the masked password to the user using print masked password backslash n concatenation masked underscore password. The backslash n adds a new line for better formatting. In conclusion, this tutorial covered the use of the length operator, hashtag, and the string rep function in Lua. We learned how to determine the length of a string using hashtag, which is useful for various tasks such as input validation, password masking, and string manipulation. Additionally, we explored how to mask a password by repeating the asterisk character using string rep, providing a simple yet effective way to enhance security in user interactions. By practicing with these fundamental string operations, you've gained valuable insights into Lua's string manipulation capabilities, which will be beneficial as you continue to explore and develop Lua scripts. Keep experimenting and building upon these foundational concepts to unlock even more possibilities in your Lua programming journey.